Hello, people. Good evening. Okay, uh, we're going to start this time. It is eight o'clock and we better start soon because one hour flies, okay? One hour is very short time. So we need to start working right now. Welcome one more time. Welcome everyone. Everyone, let me share the screen here. Last class, we started talking about these landmarks, and uh, I asked you to do your a little research to find find out more information about these famous landmarks around the world. Um. So I would like to hear what else do you know about these places? Okay. So let me start asking to, well, I don't know if I, we have some students that didn't attend yesterday. By the way, Alejandra, Alejandra Cañas, were you in class yesterday? No, teacher. It's oh. my birthday. Okay, good. Where are you from, Alejandra? I'm from um, San Salvador. Okay, good, very good. Welcome. Thank you, teacher. Class. Okay. Uh, so, Diego, you were in class yesterday, right? Yes, teacher. Okay, did you find any new information about all I found places. something about the Statue of Liberty. Okay. Uh, about the the things that the statue have in her hands, in the uh, well, let me see, in the yes, in the right hand, mm -hmm. uh, it has a torch, mm -hmm. and in the other hand, uh, it has a tablet. It's a tablet that had a, a legend. That has a legend, and that legend say uh, July four, M D C C L X X B I. That is the year of the declar declaration independence, but in Roman numerals. Okay, okay, very good. And, and... oh, and I found something about the Great Wall of, of China. Mm -hmm. uh, well, it's something about a myth that the people think uh, the Great uh, Wall of China. Uh, well, you can see that wall uh, from space, but that it's a myth. I found that. Oh, really? It's a myth? Oh. Yeah, that's what I found. Ah, okay. It's good to know. A little bit disappointed, but yeah. <laughs> okay. Anyone else found something else about these places or this landmark? Hey, you have to research.
No, you didn't get any, any new information about these places? Hmm. Okay, so let's see. What are three? Easy, okay. I found that Statue of Liberty uh, says that Lady Liberty's face is modeled on the artist's mother. Oh, really? Ah. Yes, the face of the statue. Oh, interesting. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. I Thanks. also found that the Eiffel Towers, uh -huh. the Eiffel Towers cave change with the seasons. In winter, the cold weather, because the towers to shrink. Shrink. Like a, oh, really? So, yeah. Oh, okay. Interesting. Good to know. Uh, anyone else? No. Let me see one hand up. Whose hand is up? No. Oh, no. Okay, so I want you to write in the chat three the three most famous landmarks in El Salvador for you. What are the three most famous landmarks here in El Salvador. Please write in the chat. Which ones do you think are the three most famous landmarks here in El Salvador? Okay, let me see. Okay, can you read? You can read that. Como se es el Salvador del Mundo Monument, Teatro Nacional, the National Theater, the Tunco Beach, the Hermano Lejano, Monument, Surf City, Tazumal, Hoya de Seren, Cathedral, Francisco Menendez Plaza. Mm, I don't know where, which one is. National Theater, Constitution Monument, National Palace. Maha, what? Really? <laughs> Okay, Paso del Jaguar. The Cathedral, Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Cathedral, National Palace, Santa Ana Cathedral, Cristo de la Paz, Cuatepeque Lake, Monte Cristo. Okay, National Palace, Plaza Libertad, Cuatepeque Lake, Francisco Morazan Monument, the Green Hill. <laughs> Okay. So if you had to describe El Salvador in three pictures, three landmarks, those are the ones you would use, okay? El Diablo, Centro Histórico, Tonko Beach. Okay, very good, interesting. Well, let's take a look to this conversation here. Let me read it for you. I'm going to read the conversation and record the audio here in WhatsApp. Yeah, so you can practice it later if you want. You can listen to it as many times as, as you want. See. Okay. Conversation. Okay. Listen, conversation. We are now approaching the famous Statue of Liberty 
which has welcomed visitors to New York Harbor since 1886. Wow, look at it. Incredible, isn't it? The statue was given to the United States by the people of France and was designed by the French sculptor Bartoli. It's really huge. Do we get to go inside? Of course, we can climb the stairs all the way up to the crown. Stairs? There's no elevator. Not to the top, but it's just 142 steps. Okay. Okay, one more time. Let me read one more time. Listen to the pronunciation and the intonation, okay? This conversation is between the tour guide, Andrew and James, three people. One more time, listen. We are now approaching the famous Statue of Liberty, which has welcomed visitors to New York Harbor since 1886. Wow, look at it. Incredible, isn't it? The statue was given to the United States by the people of France. It was designed by the French sculptor Bartoli. It's really huge. Do we get to go inside? Of course, we can climb the stairs all the way up to the crown. Stairs? There's no elevator. Not to the top, but it's just 142 steps. Okay. Now, let's practice. Repeat after me, please. Listen and repeat. Let me. Listen and repeat. Okay. We are now approaching the famous Statue of Liberty, which has welcomed visitors to New York Harbor since 1886. Repeat. We are, now we are now approaching the famous Statue of which has welcomed visitors to New York Harbor since 1886. Wow, look at it. Wow, look at it. Incredible, isn't it? Incredible, isn't it? Isn't it? The statue was given to the United States by the people of France. It was designed by the French sculptor Bartoli. The statue was given to the people of France. It was designed by the French sculptor Bartoli. It's really huge. Do we get to go inside? It's, it's really, really huge. huge. We Do get to go get inside. Of course, we can climb the stairs all the way up to the crown. Of course, of course we, can we can climb the, climb the, stair the stairs all the way, the way up to the, the, the crown. Stairs? There's no elevator. There's stairs. stairs. There's no elevator. No elevator. No elevator. No not to the top, but it's just 142 steps. Not to the top, but it's just 142 steps. Okay, very good. Now, I will be the guide. Boys, you will be Andrew. And girls, you will be Jane. Okay. Okay. Agree. Okay. Remember, boys, Andrew, girls, James. Yes. Okay. Let's get started. We are now approaching the famous Statue of Liberty, which has welcomed visitors to New York Harbor since 1886. Boys. Wow. wow. Look at it. Got it. Girls. The statue was given to the United States by the people of France. It was designed by the French sculptor Bartholdi. Boys? It's really, it's really huge. Do we, do we, we go inside? inside? 
Girls? Of course. Of course. Of course. We can, can climb, climb the stairs climb all the way up the ground. Up the ground. Up the ground. Boys? Stairs. stairs. There's no There's elevator. No elevator. There's no elevator. Okay, okay. Very good. Very good. Now, I will send you to working groups so a little bit in trios. I hope everyone gets the small groups because I want you to practice these conversations in trios, okay? okay. Um, switching the role and many times. So one would be the guy, the other Andrew, then the other James. Then you switch. Okay. 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 To practice the conversation. Okay. okay, let's see how many groups. Yeah, around eight. Okay. Okay, perfect. Three people per group. So join your groups and practice the conversation. See you in around five to six minutes. Okay. Join to the groups. Guys, your classmates are waiting for you. Hello, Elizabeth. I'm sending you to a group. Okay, teacher. Okay.
This meeting is being recorded. Okay, welcome back. I would like to hear some of you with the conversation, okay? So just let me share screen here. And let's see. Okay, let's start with Pablo, Silvia, and Vanessa. Could you please present the conversation? Okay, I guess they have troubles with the microphone, but we can uh, uh, start with the conversation. I am the guy. We are now approaching to the famous Statue of Liberty which has welcomed visitors to New York Harbor since 1886. Wow, look at Sylvia. Incredible. Is, isn't it? Okay, the statue was given to the United States by the, the people of French. It's what designed by the French sculptor Bartoli. It's really cool. Do we, do we need to go inside? Of course. We can climb the stairs all the way up to grow, to the grow. Manza. Stairs. Stairs, there's no elevator. Not to, not to the stop, but it's just one for two steps. Okay, thank you very much. Let's see okay. now, Alejandra, Diego and Jamie. Go ahead, please, quickly. Okay. Um, okay. Yeah, let's start. Oh, okay. <laughs> we are now approaching the famous Statue of Liberty, which has welcomed visitors to New York Harbor since eight, 1886. Wow. Oh. <laughs> Jamie, go ahead. I'm sorry. <laughs> what? Wow, look at it. Incredible. In isn't it? The statue was given to the United States by the people of France. It's well, it was designed by the French sculptor Bartholdi. It is really hot. Do you get to go inside? Of course, we can climb the stairs of the way up to the ground. Stairs? There's no elevator? No, to the top. But it's just one for two steps. Okay, thank you very, very well. Now, one more on Lillian, Guadalupe, and Natalie. Okay. And um, we are not appro uh, appropriating the famous state of liberty, which has welcomed visitor to the New York Harbor since 186. Wow. wow look at it. Look at it. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Incredible, isn't it? The statue gas was given to the United States by the people of French. It was designed by French sculptor Bartholdi. It's really huge. Do we get to go inside? Of course, we can climb the stairs all the way up to the to the ground. The stairs? There's no elevator? Not to the top, but it's just 142 steps. 
Okay, very good. And the last one, maybe Luis and Sandra. Okay. Uh, we are now approaching the famous Statue of Liberty, which has welcomed visitors to New York Harbor since 1886. What? Wow, look at it. Incredible, isn't it? The statue was given to the United States by the people of France. It was designed by the French sculptor Bartholdi. It's really huge. Do we get to go inside? Of course. We can climb the stairs all the way up to the crown. Stairs? There's no elevator? Not to the top, but it's just 142 steps. Okay, very good, very good. Just let me focus on a couple of words that I heard some of you have difficulty with. One is this, huge, huge. It's really huge. Huge. Yeah. Huge, huge. Huge. Can you give me a synonym of huge? Enormous. Enormous. Huge. Yeah. Big. 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 Tremendous. Yeah. So huge <laughs> is something huge. very, very big. Huge. Okay. And some of you have forgot how to read years. How do we read this year? 1886. Eight, eight, Remember that years, we read years in sets of two numbers, okay? Yes. 1886. <clears throat> so this year is 2023. 20, 20, 26, 23. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, 2023. Okay, very good. And only these words, statue, 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 the statue. 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 Okay, statue. very good. Any other difficult word with this conversation, people? Approaching, maybe. Approaching. No. No. <laughs> Approaching. No. Approaching. Can you repeat, teacher, a statue? statue. 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 Yeah. Statue. Okay. Statue. 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 Mm -hmm. Statue. Okay. Any other word? Any question with the conversation? Sculptor Bartoldi. Sculptor. 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 The French sculptor Bartoldi or Bartoldi. Oh, name. Okay, now I want to focus on this structure. The statue was given to the United States by the people of France. By the people of France. And the other one, it was designed. 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 the French sculptor Bartholdi. Okay. The statue was given. The statue was given. Was given. Okay. So this structure is what we call the passive voice. The passive voice was given was designed. Look at this. The passive voice. Defined. The passive, in this case, we use it with the simple past. Yeah. Yes. The passive changes the focus of a sentence. For the simple past, use the past of be plus past participle. You see, this is the structure of the passive voice in 
simple fast. The verb be in past. Actually, let me go a little bit. The past of B plus the past participle form of the verb. Okay. Okay. For example, if you see, we have here the active voice. Bartoldi designed the Statue of Liberty. Okay. So in the active voice, the focus is on the subject or the person who does the action. In this case, it's in the past, the person who did the action. Bartoldi designed the Statue of Liberty. But in passive voice, the focus is on the action, not on the performer of the action. The Statue of Liberty was designed by Bartholdi. The Statue of Liberty, you see the passive, the pass of B was the past participle of design designed by Bartholdi is the performer of the action. Okay, the Statue of Liberty was designed by Bartholdi. So it's the same idea, but, but with a different focus, okay? In this sentence, we focus on the performer or the doer of the action. In this sentence, we focus on the action itself, okay? Or the receiver of the action. Now, the other, the, the other example, the French gave the statue to the United States in 1886. The French gave the statue. So they are the performers of this action. The French gave statue. Now, the statue was given mm -hmm. to the United States by the French in 1886. See, was is the past form of be, given is the past participle of verb give. By, when we want to, to mention the performer of the the statue was given to the United States by the French in 1886. Okay. So this is what we call passive voice or passive with by. Because with the by phrase, we mention the performer of the action. Let's practice. Let's practice here. Look at these uh, pictures. We have the Mona Lisa. We have the Opera Labo M. We have the novel To Kill a Mockingbird. We have the movie or the film E.T. And we have the album Thriller. Okay, I want you to match the pictures with the second parts of the sentence. The first part of the sentence is with the second part. For example, let's see, tell me. The it's Mona Lisa. Lisa. Sorry. Okay. By Leonardo da Vinci. Was painted by Leonardo da Vinci. Okay, the Mona Lisa was painted by Leonardo da Vinci. Perfect. Painted. The opera La Boheme. Was composed by Giacomo Puccini. Okay. Puccini. Next, the novel To Kill a Mockingbird was written by Harper Lee. 
Harper. Written by Harper. Written. 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 Yeah. The extraterrestrial, the ET. The ET, the extraterrestrial. Was directed by Steven Spielberg. Was directed by Steven Spielberg. Yeah. You are too young to know that. Right. <laughs> <laughs> the album Thriller was recorded, was recorded, by, by, Michael Michael Jackson. Jackson. recorded by Michael Jackson. Yes. Very good. Very good. So, you see in these sentences, the focus or the emphasis is not on the performer, but on the receiver of the action. Let's practice these sentences. Repeat after me, please. The Mona Lisa was painted by Leonardo da Vinci. The Mona, the Mona Lisa, Lisa was painted by Leonardo da Vinci. Okay. The <laughs> opera La Boheme was composed by Giacomo Piccini. The opera The novel To Kill a Mockingbird was written by Harper Lee. The film E.T., the extraterrestrial, was directed by Steven Spielberg. The film E.T., the extraterrestrial, was directed by Steven Spielberg. The album Thriller was, uh, I'm sorry, the album Thriller was recorded by Michael. The album Thriller was recorded by Michael Jackson. Record Michael Jackson. Okay, any questions so far? Okay. Um, it can be used uh, in present too. Yes, definitely yes, you can use it. So if you are talking about actions in in present, okay. Uh, now, what can I say? For example, let me write a sentence. Hmm. The car is repaired by the mechanic. So that is present. That is right now. Okay. The car is repaired by the mechanic. Okay. We can also use this form in future. For example, let's say the car will, will be, be repaired, repaired by the mechanic. By the mechanic. <clears throat> yeah, we can use it in future. Okay. And with with all the tenses up, we can use this passive voice with all the okay. Now, look at these sentences. These sentences are in what we call active voice. You have to change them into passive voice or passive sentences with by. Let me help you with the first one. The Thomas Edison invented the photograph, the phonograph in 18. 77. So, a phonograph was invented by Thomas Edison in 
When? 1877. Okay, that's the way to continue with the other sentences, please. Following four sentences. Do it do it individually. Uh let me put this in WhatsApp so if, if you don't have the book yet, the manual. This. There you are. And when you finish, please raise your hand, your virtual hand, to let me know that you are done. Teacher. Yep. I'm not added in WhatsApp group. Oh, but you should have received a link. Mm -hmm. Maybe in your. ¿Dónde le enviaron el enlace de? En la reunión. Uh -huh. Okay. Because that's easier. I mean, great, but I can see that. Yeah, I will share it one more time. So thank you. You will be able to. Wait. There it is. Thank you. Okay, I see two hands up. Three, four.
Good. I see seven hands up. Okay, 15, 16, hands up, very good. Waiting for the last ones. Okay, I want you to write the, the sentence number two, please, in passive form. Please write the sentence number two in the chat. Marie Curie discovered radium in 1898. Write sentence number two in passive, please, in the chat. Okay, Marcelo. Four. Come on, people, everyone, please. Practice, practice your writing. Lisa, Guadalupe, Gladys. Osvaldo. Okay, Jamie, Chrysia, Luis. Very good.
Let me write it here. Radium. You don't need to write that. Radium was discovered by Marie Curie in 1898. Okay. Now, number three, Gabriel Garcia Marquez wrote 100 Years of Solitude in 1971. Mm, it's, it's the past participle, not the simple past. Okay, Pablo, Gladys, Alejandra, Flor, Luis, number three, Ana Lilian. Remember the past participle of write or, or, or is, yeah, or write is written or wrote, written. Okay, 100 years of solitude. Was written by Gabriel Garcia Marquez in 1971. Let me write with a different word. Okay. Now, number four, the Berners Lee developed the World Wide Web in 1989. Tim Berners-Lee. Okay. Good. The World Wide Web was developed by Tim Berners-Lee in 1989. Good. And the last one, Wupake produced the first digital HDTV. By definition, television in Mm -hmm. Okay. Very good. First, well, here we have to, uh, the first. The first digital HDTV, high definition television, was produced by Wu in 1990. Very good. Okay, people, we are going to stop here because uh, here we finish, okay? We're going to continue tomorrow. So this is the passive voice. 
with by phrase. Okay. If you have any question, keep it for tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good night, Thank people. You. Thank you. Tomorrow. Have a good night. Bye. 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 See you tomorrow, teacher, classmate. Bye. See you tomorrow, everyone.